Is Ukraine now winning the war against Russia? That's a question a lot of people are asking, after Russia suffered what some experts are calling its biggest single battle loss since World War II. What we've seen over the past couple of days is almost unbelievable. According to reports, the Ukrainian military took less than three days to reclaim thousands of square kilometres of land that took the Russians months to capture. They launched a surprise attack in the northeast, which the Russians clearly weren't expecting. They uh, initially pretended to be attacking in the south. They, in a very clandestine way, Ukraine uh, moved their troops, uh, several brigades, and uh, somehow uh, equipped, prepared, and well-trained in northeast. Ukraine reclaimed a number of key positions, including Kupyansk and Izium. People have been under occupation for up to six months, and it is palpable um, their joy. <laughs> so, is this the end of the war? No. The Russians still hold large proportions of Ukrainian territory. I think we're going to see something of a stalemate in the Donbass region. I don't see that conflict ending anytime soon, but I think they could make some significant gains uh, around Kherson in the south. Russia has already begun to retaliate, reportedly hitting power plants in eastern Ukraine and causing some blackouts. We're seeing that Russia um, did not take these military defeats easily and is likely to retaliate further. However, many experts do believe that Ukraine has gained the upper hand. They have the initiatives, they have the momentum going into winter, and that will be very important both for the morale of the Ukrainians, but also for what will come in 2023. Ukrainian morale is up, and the Russians, meanwhile, are completely deflated. They feel defeated. They're, they're already dealing with low morale as it was. Uh, so this seems to be a turning point. That doesn't mean that the war is going to end anytime soon, but it does seem likely that the Ukrainians are going to be able to take back a lot of the territory uh, that wasn't in the Donbass region that the uh, Russians had seized. This does dispel the myth of the all-powerful Russian army. We do see that they're extremely vulnerable that their supply lines um, can't handle this current situation. Even some of the war's biggest supporters in Russia have been criticising Russian leadership for its perceived failures. Even some members of uh, local governments in St. Petersburg and Moscow call upon Putin's resignation. These events also send a message to Ukraine's allies that their financial and military aid hasn't gone to waste and provides motivation for that support to continue. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure to check out the International Politics playlist on our homepage.